In your strength, O Lord, the just one rejoices. How greatly your salvation makes him glad. You have granted him his soul's desire. Hallelujah. Today is the memorial of Saint Isidore, holy man of our church and intercessor of the farmers. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brethren, in order to worthily celebrate this Mass, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Lord God, to whom belongs all creation, and who call us to serve you by caring for the gifts that surround us, Inspire us by the example of St. Isidore to share our food with the hungry and to work for the salvation of all the people. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles and Presbyters, in agreement with the whole Church, decided to choose representatives and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Barsabas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers. This is the letter delivered by them. The Apostles and the Presbyters, your brothers to the brothers of Antioch, Syria and Cilicia of gentle origin, greetings. Since we have heard that some of our number who went out without any mandate from us have upset you with their teachings and disturbed your peace of mind, we have with one accord decided to choose representatives and to send them to you along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, who we have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we are sending Judas and Silas, who will also convey the same message by word of mouth. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us not to place on you any burden beyond these necessities namely to abstain from meat sacrificed to idols from blood from meats of strangled animals and from unlawful marriage if you keep free of this you will be doing what is right farewell and so they were sent on their journey upon their arrival in antioch they called the assembly together and delivered the letter when the people read it they were delighted with the exhortation. The word of the Lord. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. My heart is steadfast, O God, my heart is steadfast. I will sing and chant praise. Awake, O my soul. Awake, lyre and harp, I will awake the dawn. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give you thanks to you among the peoples, O Lord. I will chant your praise among the nations. For your mercy towers to the heavens and your faithfulness to the skies. 
be exalted above the heavens of God, above all the earth be your glory. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. I'll call you my friend, says the Lord, for I have made known to you all that the Father has told me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment, love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear food that will remain. So whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you this I command you love one another the gospel of the Lord good morning with your friends today Jesus speak to us as a friend he tells this with his disciples for the main reason that has what he said I call you friends because I told you everything about my father I think my dear friends most of our friendship lasts because there is a sort of what we call openness there is trust we call others just simply acquaintances some are just also we call them friends or casual friends but sometimes people we call them also best friends and because of this it depends on the deepness of the relationship and what makes this friendship meaningful is for us who are able to open up ourselves we are able to tell to our friends things something that is very exclusive about us we are trying to become open to them because they are our friends they are the persons whom we could trust and this is what the Lord Jesus is trying to tell his disciples I no longer call you slaves you are my friends because everything that the father has been handed to me you know it and it's not only about Jesus giving it to his disciples it is his disciples also giving or reciprocating the same thing to him we need to be open to Jesus we need to tell him everything about us because I know for sure Jesus who perfectly listens about our own lives has also know what is the given for our own very heart as what Jesus said love one another as I have loved you one of the perfect expressions of love is authentic friendship when we are able to resonate the love of God to each and every one of us we radiate the goodness of Jesus to each and every one as a community this is the friendship that the Lord wants us to see as we together live our fellowship with him. Today, we also commemorate the memorial of St. Isidore the farmer. He has set the example of how it is to scatter the seeds of love to the ground. Isidore, a holy man, has manifested the love of God to his community by, by the manifestation of taking good care 
of what is entrusted to him. He would simply move along and plant the good seeds of Jesus to the rest of the world. Dear friends, let us now together pray for one another in this holy sacrifice of the Mass, that we may be consoled in the loving friendship of God. And likewise, we also give our friendship and love for one another. Christ calls us as his friends and commands us to love one another. Let us show that love by sincerity of our prayers. Let us call to preach the gospel in any way we may proclaim the good news of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. That political leaders may fear God and do what is in accord with the words of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. That married couples may take to heart our Lord's command to love one another even in the most trying situations. Let us pray to the Lord. That the sick and the handicapped may find love to those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord, that God may grant eternal peace to our departed brethren, especially the soul of Dalmacio Santos, let us pray to the Lord. And we also remember the soul of Robert Baggett on his first death anniversary. We pray to the Lord. Lord God, hear our prayers and let your love grow in us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed the Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have this bread we offer you, which is given, and you in the hands of me will become for us the bread of life. Blessed the Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, will become for us our spiritual life. Pray with the brethren, may sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, to the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Through the present oblation, O Lord, which we offer in commemoration of your blessed Isidore, bestow on your faithful, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For your marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us as sure signs of your love that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayer sustain us in all that we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, 
heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the deep fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving thanks and broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Barry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At a Savior's command and form the divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy be always free from sin and safe from all distresses we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to our apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, will even reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. We offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given you besides, says the Lord. Let us now together pray for the intercession of our Holy Virgin of Guadalupe. Holy Virgin of Guadalupe, Queen of the Angels and Mother of the Americas, we fly to you today as your beloved children. We ask you to intercede for us with your son as you did at the wedding in Cana. Pray for us, loving Mother, and gain for our nation and world, and for all our families and loved ones, the protection of your holy angels that we may be spared the worst of this illness. For us already afflicted, we ask you to obtain the grace of healing and deliverance. Hear the cries of those who are vulnerable and fearful. Wipe away their tears and help them to trust. In this time of trial and testing, teach all of us in the church to love one another and to be patient and kind. Help us to bring the peace of Jesus to our land and to our hearts. We come to you with confidence, knowing that you truly are our compassionate mother, health of the sick and cause of our joy. Shelter us under the mantle of your protection. Keep us in the embrace of your arms. Help us always to know the love of your Son, Jesus. Amen. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, in commemoration of your blessed Isidore, sanctify our minds and hearts, that we may merit to be made sharers in divine nature. To Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Holy Mass has been offered in a goal in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks. Be to God. 